Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. We just cracked the walnut, literally, and found the moonstone inside of it. Up here, around this area that I... I feel like I've been running from enemies to get here for, like, forever. Not a very safe place. Uh, but there's a save point here, and... I don't know if I need to go directly back to that moon door we found on the third floor to use the moonstone on it. I don't know if that's the only thing we need to open it, or if it's even for that door at all, although it probably is. So I guess theoretically I could just run all the way back, but I want to see if there's another way forwards, maybe a shortcut or something. Looks like there's some escalators right here, right next to me. Potentially one escalator down here. And then there's also one door directly across from me in this room. So let's try them all. Okay. Oh fuck, I gotta go out here again. If you don't remember, there's like two or three of those horrendously loud, saw, buzzing, massive bug things out here. It's so loud and disturbing. Okay, just take a right and then take another right. Take a right, then take another right. Here we go! Unlocked! So it's a- Oh god, fuck. So it's a shortcut. Okay. Yeah, uh... I... Yes... Where should I go? So there's this door here. That'll lead down there. Uh... I'm just trying to see if while I was running away from all those horrendous things, if I missed, like, any... Big sections? I don't think I did. Uh, fuck, what are they? Just horrible noises everywhere. Uh, okay, that wasn't even marked as a place on the map, but there's the door. Oh, apparently there's something in the way up here, so I guess I can't get through there to potentially open... Potentially open this door? I should probably point at things with my mouse, huh? Make it a little easier to see where I'm looking at on the map. Fuck those noises! Ah! It looks like they're just trying to fast-track me back to the other area, so I think I, I probably just need the Moonstone to continue on on the third floor, so let's just... go. Ugh. Is there any place that doesn't have enemies? Forwards to the right and then left. For forwards to the right. And then left. This is not the right area. Is it? Where am I? No, 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 that's the right area. Let's go save real quick, too. Alright, moon door. Yeah, it probably goes in that little indentation on the top left. Yes! No. <laughs> oh, it's just like with the first Silent Hill. Progress feels both good and bad. Good because I accomplished something, bad because holy shit. It's probably going to get even worse, the things that I encounter. Elevator down here, one door over here, a couple escalators potentially back there. Let's check out the elevator. Seems to be beckoning me to go there. What's... What's over here? Is 
it one of those little things? No, 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 no. Don't look that way. Come on. Oh, I just went a full circle. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta go into the center. That thing must be on a lower floor, then. Whatever I'm hearing. Oh god, there's a ladder that goes down. Oh. I hate it. Something down here. Ah, the controller's vibrating. I think we have our first boss fight. Holy crap. Anything I could do with my environment? I don't think so. I think I... I think I just gotta shoot it. Okay, it's a good thing I've been saving my ammo. I'm all... All... Whoa, 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 all loaded. Got 33 pistol shots, okay. Look at this music. Some, like, chanting, or... Whatever that it's called. Both sides. God, it's in a sheath. It's in a sheath. Still doing pretty well. Okay. Should I try melee weapons? Should I be saving ammo? Not in a boss fight. go pretty easy on you for the first boss fight, thankfully. Well, this is a lot more pleasant. 
Yeah, that was a pretty cool boss fight. I mean, it wasn't very long, it wasn't very hard. I kind of wish there was more to it, but I understand why it's so simple for a first boss fight, but... I just like how creepy the thing was and how it went from side to side. So the view kept switching. It's pretty cool. Natural shop. Picture of a horse. Made by horses? For horses. <laughs> it's a store called Gatekeeper. <laughs> shop. More pleasant than the sports shop. Oh, tons of bullets. Nice. More jerky. with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? I don't know any more than you do. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here, and I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. Remember that. What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? How if I know? Probably gonna switch back to the other world pretty soon. So just 
Uh, I've just been noticing about the, the voice acting, so... Remember what I said at the beginning about how in the Silent Hill 3 HD version, they apparently redid the voice acting for at least some of the characters? I don't know about all of them. Uh, so far, I think the voice acting for Heather is actually really good. We haven't really talked with many other people. Uh, Claudia... I, I don't really remember them that much. I guess they're okay. The detective, however, is terrible. <laughs> the detective is hilariously bad. But yeah, Heather's good. Oh, I don't like this. Hmm. Growing strong and healthy. Minmo? Minmo cat food. That's a strong and healthy cat. Look at him. Big fluff. Fruity Rouge. Fruity Rouge? Fruity Rouge. There's almost always in Silent Hill, in my experience from what I've played and from what I've seen, there's almost always this feeling of going down and being trapped in claustrophobia. Like this right here, I'm in a subway, but I can't seem to find any sort of, you know, subway car and places that go up, like this exit. Can't go there. Usually you can go deeper down, but you usually can't go up. It's all about going down, 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 down. And even if you go up, like going up in the, the different levels in the shopping center, that was all just to get to the ladder that then took me down. Can't go through because I don't have a ticket. Wait, what did that say? Oh, there's a second line, but it doesn't show up anymore. Can't, can't get a ticket even when I put in money. This ticket machine is broken. Yeah, I don't think anything has power. No one working here. Where could they have run off to? Well, if there's a map, we're going to be spending some time down here. Subway map. I've already tried pretty much all of those doors out there. Actually, all of the doors out there. couple bathrooms here and then I think we just go down. I'm sure we can go down. Stairs go down too. Subway map here. Ooh, ammo. Stash your trash. Hmm. 
Yeah, so I can go down this way or the two different stairs. Is there a lower floor to this map? There is. Yeah, I think they would all just take me to different places down here. Still haven't switched over to the other world yet. Doesn't mean we won't see enemies though, even in the quote-unquote normal world. Well, I mean, this obviously isn't the normal world, right? I mean, the, uh, the better version of Silent Hill. Even that version, as we saw in the first, Silent Hill had enemies. Just wasn't quite as corrupted and fucked up. <laughs> it goes even deeper, of course. Ooh, wait a minute. Chains holding the doors together are secured with a bolt and nut. The nut is screwed on tight, can't turn it with my hands. Okay, so I need a wrench or something like that. I can't... It would have said it was weak if I could hit it, right? Yeah. Proof of all these ads for cat food. Boom. I'm just like biting my nails, just waiting for an enemy sound to appear every time I enter a room. Oh, that's cool. It actually gives off light in the environment. Where, <laughs> where am I? Where have I been? Uh, I guess I haven't explored any of this. Okay. That's another way down that actually goes down. That's the second way down, I think, that I've found. That's not locked. Third way down. Alright. Maybe I should just go down. Sure. Sure. Can always go down. I read this a long time ago. It's a nothing little occult magazine. Seems like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun, though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn to humans for salvation, or they begrudge humans their lives. At such times they can possess humans. Places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or at the time the death occurred. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you, too. I feel like the game is trying to hit me over the head with, like, hey, you're dead, but also I don't think that's actually what's going on. I don't think Heather is dead and we're just replaying the, the pain and everything. I don't think that's it, but I mean, I don't know. Oh, we can go even deeper. All right.
I love the click of the flashlight. Oh, shit. I didn't know I could go down here. Uh. Good. Was that in the game? I don't know if I just heard a horrible noise in the game or if that was like a distant motorcycle spinning out or something. So this will just go back up to somewhere I've already been, right? The other side of where I've already been? Okay. Yeah, I think we gotta drop down. There's no platform on the other side, is there? So I guess I gotta follow the subway tunnel either. Oh! Seriously? You just get an instant game over, huh? Okay. I just heard a similar noise at the same area. I think that's from in-game. Okay, let's hope I don't get run over this time. I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> Jesus. Love that realistic meat grinder noise. Oh. Okay, this is a progression, I guess. I just went down a different pathway and it, I guess, took me to a different place down here. On the lower floor. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm gonna put down beef jerky, but I have a feeling I'm still gonna take damage. Uh, supplies. Oh, that interrupted it. Alright, fair enough. I think I need to dodge this one. Hold on. Eat. Eat, my lovelies. Eat! Don't be silly. Pipe not a good weapon for these. I don't think that beef jerky helped at all. Let's use some first aid kit. Yeah, just like in the first Silent Hill. 
Melee weapons do not work on dogs. They're way too fast. Okay, there's still another dog over there. Let's just avoid it. I guess we just go down? Once again, keep going down. You can always go down. Ooh, what's that? Nut... Nutcracker? What are we looking at? What? That's a strange thing to get, because A, it doesn't look like a nutcracker, or at least part of it doesn't look like a nutcracker. Part of it just looks like a wrench kind of thing. Uh, but also, I already just cracked a nut with a vice, and now I get a nutcracker? Rusty and impossible to turn. This is for cracking open nuts. Huh. What a weird thing. Rusty and an impossible to turn. So do I need like oil or something to make it turnable? Path is blocked with trash. I can't go through here. Oh, fuck. Alright, yeah, it sounds like there's two more. Jesus. I'm gonna put down some more meat. Please, I'm trying to feed you. Stop chewing on my leg. Chew on the beef. I think I just need to kill him. Fuck, I'm yellow again. Yeah, I, I don't know if I like this beef jerky. I don't think it's worth it. Super make sure I don't miss any items down here, because I'm pretty sure I need, like, grease or something. Uh, looks like that's it for down here, though. Well, actually, wait a minute. Can I go down? Yes. Is this taking me to a different area? I... I'm not sure. Yeah, this is another one. Health drink, health drink. Something else there. Ammo. Handgun bullets. Okay, so just some bonus stuff. Oh my god, there's a body there. There's a body under a bunch of bloody newspaper. Dead body. Can't really do anything for the poor guy. Alright, now that I think is everything. Yeah, let's go back up. No, 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 I don't need to shoot it. I can just leave. God, there's so many dogs down there. Yeah, I don't think we need to go down there ever again. Pretty sure. Okay. 
Rusty Nutcracker, could that be enough to unlock the thing? Probably not, but it's just right over here. Let's go check. Oh, I used a nutcracker. Oh, never mind. Cool. Okay, that's new. Um, I just... After I unlocked that thing, I went back to save. And now that I've come back here... Because to go save, we have to go through the this level transition here. Save. Now that I've come back through, there's an enemy here. So... That's new. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. Well. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go even deeper down. I feel like we're about, I don't know, half a mile underground at this point. 